When I saw the melatonin headlines, there was one thing that jumped out to me instantly. And literally nobody else is even talking about this. And if you miss this one detail, you'll be throwing away one of the most powerful anti-aging molecules that your body makes. And no, I'm not even talking about melatonin itself. I'm talking about a molecule that is present in your pituitary and your pineal gland, which is one of the master regulators of aging, that's been dying inside every single one of us since our 20s. Now, over the past week, I've watched people on a private server that I'm in melt down saying that melatonin is unsafe. So I went and read the actual study. And of course, it comes from the American Heart Association. And somehow, they managed to screw this up so badly that I'm honestly shocked. The truth is that this so-called study the media is spreading around isn't even a real study. It was literally info that was pulled from a medical database consisting of people who were being recorded as taking melatonin. So they were people sick enough to be at the doctor's office in the first place and having melatonin recorded in their supplement list. Meanwhile, there are millions of healthy people who have bought melatonin over the counter and they never show up in medical records. So they get labeled as non-melatonin users here, which means that the comparison was the sickest, most sleep deprived people versus the general population of millions of unrecorded melatonin users. That is how you create a fake association out of thin air. It would be like saying people in a wheelchair die more often, therefore wheelchairs kill more people. No, the underlying condition is the problem. And this really makes me angry, honestly, because melatonin is actually great for your health. But there's even something better I'll share with you in just a moment. But if you actually look at real science, like a recent meta-analysis of randomized trials and heart failure patients who are taking melatonin, you'll see that melatonin consistently improved their outcomes, which makes perfect sense mechanistically. I mean, we've known for decades that melatonin has a number of benefits, including mitochondrial, which can benefit most metabolic syndromes, improve immune function, and it's just a good general antioxidant and reduces risk of cancers as well. And melatonin naturally drops with age because the pineal gland literally suffers involution. This is where its active tissue shrinks and calcifies, and it also drops with stress because stress denervates the pineal gland. And diseases rise with melatonin drop-offs. But here's what's even better. If you give pineal-derived peptides to humans with coronary artery disease and follow them for 12 years, they have less all-cause mortality, and this is just from annual 10-day cycles. Their cardiometabolic health improves, infections go down, and some quality of life markers improve. Most people think the pineal gland is just the melatonin gland, but that's wrong. It literally directs your master gland, the pituitary, and has ripple effects all throughout your endocrine system, including to the thymus, the thyroid, and the reproductive axis as well. The natural peptides it produces can even take the genes that got silenced and locked with aging and turn them back on again. This is basic endocrine biology that's been known for 40 years, but the mainstream media has such a massive microphone that this stuff gets drowned out. Other experts and influencers try to give their take with unoriginal ideas, and that dilutes the poll even further, making the type of information I provide essentially hidden. So yeah, keep taking your melatonin. It doesn't cause heart failure. Chronic disease does. Inflammation does. A dying pineal gland does. And honestly, I'm sick and tired of these fear-mongering headlines every single week. I make these videos because someone has to cut through the noise and give people the actual science. And if you want to learn more about these peptides, such as the pineal gland ones, and 111 others, your next step is to get Peptide Salvation. It's an 800-page book based on 1,100 studies. And if you want to go further, then check out my flagship Peptide Mastery course, which now has around 30 hours of content. Just check the link in the description for either of them.